I don't get to talk to my lawyers, but if I did talk to my lawyers about people that sue me, what I would say is, um, you're not quite attacking my life, but I'm a poor person that's getting sued. And when you're a poor person that's getting sued for nothing, then it makes me think, how mean could I be? Like, would it be legal for me to hire a team of people and have them on staff permanently that their job is to have a schedule for like just making someone's life miserable because I, I don't like them that much because I'm not a suing person. Like I'm not, I'm not someone that's like that. I don't think like that. So I guess, yeah, I would probably actually hire staff to do that for me. In other words, like every 10 years uh, ruin their life. How? Legally. Okay. Isn't it weird that you can do that legally? I don't know. I'm not really like that, but I think I am. Okay, so <clears throat> I feel like it's problem problematic that I think we need to kill these Russian spies because they're everywhere. And I've given them a chance to defect and say, hey, uh, 911, uh, I'm a Russian spy. Can you pick me up? Yeah, I'll tell you something, hopefully. All right, so um, I never thought about the possibility that I would view Chinese spies that way, but I guess I don't really view China the way that China views me. Um, China views me as their mortal enemy. I view them as this group of people that is very talented that someday is going to <laughs> get released from Buddha's palm, but apparently isn't because um, they are, are a very strong military threat and if you're a very strong military threat, then I'm a firm believer in killing you. And, but that's, that's not actually true, um, unless you are actually a threat. Um, okay, this is confusing. Um, is Ichiro Suzuki that good at baseball? I, I, I had no idea. Apparently he was at a certain time. And um, at, at, for a lot of people, it matters if you're good at a certain time. Um, thing about baseball is Barry Bonds was the greatest hitter of all time. Everyone knows that because you couldn't pitch to Barry Bonds. Everyone walked him. That's why he's the all-time walk leader because uh, if you threw him a strike, he was going to hit it out of the park. And that's why they wouldn't pitch to him. They'd pitch to Tony Gwynn, but they would try to pitch around him probably. Um, but um, Tony Gwynn has this thing where he hit the ball to right field. And I always hit the ball to right field. But uh, during my junior year, I, I, I hit the ball to left field and I hit – eight home runs in a row pretty much. And that's because I finally got strong enough. And I feel like having a metal bat um, is different than having a wooden bat. And so no matter what, if you look at me, no matter what, as a pro baseball player, I could have never been very good. But I feel like I would have been like Tony Gwynn Jr., but who I don't even know anything about him. Um, I feel like I would have not been athletic enough because I feel like Tony Gwynn must have been a better athlete than everyone realizes because uh, no one is that quick. All right, so... Um, Barry Bonds was a really good hitter. He was a superstar baseball player, but he wasn't a home run hitter, and then he became one. And I feel like because of the way, that, because of his slugging percentage, because of the amount of line drives he hit, he could have been like the best baseball player of all time without drugs. Um, but we, we will never know because he cheated. And um, that's why I think Barry Bonds should not make the Hall of Fame. I think Pete Rose should because the guy was like in ba he's like he's like what is it um, Joe DiMaggio or uh, Luke, Luke no Joe DiMaggio is the guy that the Iron Man wait or Lou Gehrig was Iron Man gosh I'm really I'm really rusty on my baseball trivia uh, Ken Jennings don't care all right so anyways um, yeah killing Ru Chinese spies that's it's crazy how many there are and that's why it's like. <laughs> you suddenly turn into Hitler if you kill the Chinese spies, but if you don't kill all the Chinese spies, then you suddenly turn into dead person. So do you want to be a dead person when the Chinese military decides to kill certain people because that's their strategy? Um, it's, it's crazy, like, you have to understand, I am a person that is for the Bill of Rights, not just the Constitution, you can have your whatever like I, you can have a parliamentary government. You can have elections that are weird. You can have a like a three-party government. You can have I don't know. France has the, I don't know. I can't. I haven't studied all these people's different uh, government types. But all I'm saying is, um, 
it's there are different ways that democracies do what they do and that people gain representation before their government. And the reason we have democracy is because no one tries to overthrow us. If they have democracy, they'll just have an election. But the problem is um, everyone tries to overthrow us and no one knows it. I mean, Russia's been trying to overthrow us always. We have a democracy. Russia doesn't actually have a democracy. They're, they're a fake democracy. We have a real democracy. And when you have a real democracy, that's when you get overthrown through democracy. And that's why, I mean, I think the Chinese have watched me and they're going, how in the world have they not, they not murdered him? Why aren't they censoring him? And um, I think it's because um, we have we do have rules, and um, it's 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 very it's it's but like, it's crazy because the media is still censored, but I'm allowed to say stuff. But then apparently I have to go bring in outside ethics people, and then I have to accuse him of of being concerned about me having um, a, a sex dungeon. It's not a sex dungeon if it's underwater. I think it's a sex lair if it's underwater. Because Jeffrey Epstein had an underwater office, and I'm like, there's no way I want to, I'm going to be in my office while someone else is there. We're going to both be on the phone. Not going to happen. Why don't we just have sex there? Or we can just hang out there. So because at a sex place, you can also, like, have a TV or whatever. But you can also have, like, whatever you want to have. But I don't know. All right. So anyways, uh, best hitter of all time, Albert Pujols. Because he could hit for power, and no one would throw him a strike. And he didn't juice, as, as far as I know. Um, and, like, he seems like he's a juicer. Like, Albert Pujols probably would have broken Babe Ruth's record against much, much, much stronger pitching. Like, nowadays in the MLB, like, every pitcher is, like, six foot six. Back in the day, they had pitchers that were, like, six foot. I mean, I, th I know they still do. Um, but, like, I'm just saying, like, every single pitcher is, like, this, like, monster, like, like downhill with a slider and, like, having, like, multiple pitches and, like, all of them are effective. And they're, I mean, it's just a different game because people are so athletic. And that's why it's hard to put Pete Rose on the list still. But still, uh, he was that good of a hitter. Like, he, against modern pitching, he could still get that many singles. Like, because when you're a single hitter, you're a single hitter. Like, he's not, it's not like, well, no, he's not, he's going to, have trouble against his pitching. Maybe he's gonna have a little bit more trouble. Maybe he's gonna have a little lower batting average. But I'm just saying, like he could still hit against him. He, he was still hitting against really good pitching. I mean, he he he, he like Ted Williams and guys like that were before. All right, sorry for talking forever. Yeah, Barry Bonds. When I was a kid, I asked Barry Bonds for an autograph, and he didn't even say no. He stepped back and had his bodyguards stop me. And I was a little kid, but um, I feel like a lot of People were like, my, my, my autographs were so much money. This was before Barry Bonds hit all the home runs. This was when Barry Bonds was still my hero. Billy, Barry Bonds was like, like, it was like Jeff Bagwell, Craig Biggio, Barry Bonds, Mike Piazza, um, yeah, Frank Thomas. That's why I used him as an example because he's a pretty good hitter. Um, like in Cleveland Indians, Albert Bell. Yeah, who should have been included in the list? Uh, not Kenny Lofton. Um, I'm talking about... Um, Mariners, uh, line, line drive hitter, like the best hitter ever. Everyone knows who I'm talking about right now. Not Manny, not Manny Ramirez. Um, everyone knows who I'm talking about. I'll, I'll put it on the screen. Yeah, that guy should have been on the list of best hitters of all time for sure. Yeah, I can't remember what I'm talking about though. 